Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another episode of Saving Grandad's Farm. This is the Restoration Series. My name is Alex. I hope you're doing very, very well indeed. You join me. We're just doing a bit of tidying up of the yard today, actually, before we go and do something very special indeed, which is going to be completely new to us. Uh, something that's not really farm related, but it's going to be... Well, not my farm related, but it does involve uh, farms, that's for sure. But it's going to be pretty cool, so we're going to have a look at that one. I hope you will enjoy it with me as well. But for right now, we're just trying to tidy up this little area around here on the farm uh, because there are plans afoot. Uh, you may remember in the one of the last episodes where we had a bit of the, the farm overview, really, there, we're trying to see what we could do. Uh, the, the main three keys I was looking at for the rest of the year, really, for the rest of the quarter, were uh, storage, cattle and uh stabilization so we're looking at storage here we're just going to take down the tidy this all up here because we want to make a um we want to find an area that we can build a new shed and this is kind of what screams out to me at the moment so we're just going to tie this all it's in need of being tidied up anyway uh and we'll have a look see i'm doing this rather than leading bales in today i'm procrastinating to be honest uh, there's a lot of bales i need to cart in these hay bales are doing no harm although it's due to rain shortly so we, ideally we obviously we want to get them all tucked inside before that rain does come so we'll uh, we'll see what we can do about making sure that happens we'll just get this all taken care of here and then uh probably over the next couple of days we're gonna get there's a little bit more baling of straw to do i haven't done it all we're gonna have a bit of a drive over there now anyway and just show you what we have done and what's uh, what's left to do but yeah we'll need to get that all taken care of sooner rather than later uh and then that means it's gonna be a couple of days spent carting bales of straw and hay and so i have to look forward to that one. Yeah, other than that, I think it's going very, very well indeed. The combine, or the winter barley is done. Combine worked through that effortlessly. Uh, it's still parked out in the field because, again, the yard's looking a bit of a mess. So we really need to kind of get this all uh, taken care of and looking good. So we'll do that over the course of today uh, and then maybe a, a bit of tomorrow there as well. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to, it's going to be fun. It's going to be something that's looking really, really good. Just need to, um, we'll be bringing the, count, the counties uh, tucked around the corner at the moment. We'll be bringing that around in the moment because we're going to have to have a, what we're doing today is going to involve that one. So uh, I'm not going to say too much more about that at the moment. It's just over by the washing day. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, and what we're going to do instead, though, is just kind of venture into here. See what is going on. We do need to get a lot of this all tied up as well, actually. So, yeah, like I say, just... Uh, there's lots for us to to get involved with there, really. So we'll have to wait and see how it all looks, though. So. Oh, easy there. There you go. Uh, Orchard Field is just doing wonders, really. Sheep are really settled in here. I just need to... F I'm trying to find uh, something else we can Im incorporate into this field. And um, to be honest, I may well just go for some more uh, trees, to be honest, there. And just get those all set up, because that would be... That'd be a good option. Uh, but it's just something that we'll have to get added on. Uh, bees, I need to put a little bit more work into. I'm not getting as much honey as I thought out of the bees, so I don't know if I need to up the number of bees or or what. We'll have to get a bee expert in just to see how that's all going. Uh, but yeah, sheep are doing very, very well. Uh, really well. Potatoes are coming along as well. I won't be too surprised if they're not going to be ready to go soon. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get those harvesters, actually. Maybe find like an old fashioned harvester. Go to the back of here. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but that will be the uh, another option there as well. But yeah, they do look like they're not far off at all, uh, which is exciting. Uh, but how have you all been anyway? I do hope you're all doing very, very well. Do let me know down below how, what you've been up to and how it's all going there. Because uh, I, I would love to see. And uh, we're just going to do a little bit more mowing, tidying up around here. Uh, and then we should be pretty good to go. Now the grass, uh, the barley fields on the other side there, the bales haven't all been done, like I said. We're probably going to take the headlands off that second field of round bales, and I'm kind of deciding if I want to do square bales or not for the rest of it. Uh, it would be a lot of handwork, though, because there'll be a lot of bales coming off that field, let's be honest, so that's what we're kind of figuring out. Uh, onions are looking good and doing very, very well. Ooh, we've got a bit of a slip on. There you go. Got some traction in the end. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, we'll just get this all looking better for itself here. Fantastic stuff. And then, yeah, we need to come move those as well, actually. So I have to get the loader back from the field to do all of that. So just lots of things that we need to take care of around here, really. So we'll do that. We're just going to get this mowing done for about another half an hour or so. Tie up the area. Uh, and then we're going to go on a little bit of a surprise invitational trip, really. I think we'll, be, we'll describe it as. So we shall see you uh, momentarily where we'll, we'll fill you in on all the details. So that then, ladies and gentlemen, is where we stand and why the yard is in quite so much of a mess at the moment. And a lot of sorting out to do there over the uh, next couple of days, which we'll, go, we'll get to, no doubt. But 
not today. Not today at all, because today we are the reason that the glorious county has been A, power washed and pressure washed down, uh, B, it has been kind of polished up a bit, you might be able to see, it's looking rather good for itself, and uh, C, abandoned in the middle of the yard, is because we, we are taking this out today, and would you believe it, we're going on a tractor run. Now, we've been invited to one, it is a charity tractor run in the region, it's not huge, this is only the second year of doing it. Um, so it should be fun nonetheless, and uh, you know, it's you can bring any tractor along you want to. You pay a small fee to a, to the charity behind it all, uh, and then you get to bring a tractor along and have a bit of a drive around in it and see what mischief you can cause. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I've got to go and drive up to the nearest, the local, uh, well, a large dairy farm really. It's not too far away from us, but we're going to have a bit of a, a, a poke up there. Uh, where everyone should be meeting and we'll jump on now last year there were four tractors uh, So we'll, we'll see what this year brings, but it should be a few more hope and uh, that I got the invitation and Absolutely gonna get involved works well for me on both front on two fronts really it allows me to go and take out a county and have some fun with it But primarily it uh, allows me to meet some of the, the farmers in the area And kind of see what they're all doing really and see what's what machines gonna be there I imagine we're gonna see an, a big array of different tractors. So I look forward to that and uh, yeah, ultimately just to kind of have a bit of a bash around and see how it all goes. Uh, but it does look like it's going to be uh, a good bit of fun, really. And uh, why not take the county? I was going to take the county or the Fiat. Uh, but yeah, keep the Fiat in the Orchard Field there and take this one along. Because yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different. So I like it. I think it'll look, uh, it'll look grand. So we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of fun with it. Make sure that everything else is getting all... Uh, everyone else has a bit of a look at it. I hope it's one of the nicer ones there, but... Do you know what? These kind of things tend to bring out people, uh, farmers with uh, their prize tractors from the back of the shed there. You know, the one that's kept under a sheet or kept polished up there. So it could be really interesting to see. And that we'll no doubt uh, see a few surprises there. But it's a beautiful day for it. I don't know how long the race is, uh, or the run is. Sorry, it's not too long, I don't think. Uh, but either way, we'll, um, it'd be nice to have a go out there. And uh, just kind of taking a bit of the scenery. I have got a few cameras and... Uh, I have asked for the, I've asked for the operator or the man, like kind of owner just to place a few cameras around about so we can get a few shots and put it all together. So that's what looks like it's going to be happening. Uh, so we're going to just cruise along over there and then we'll come back to you when we're kind of approaching the farm and we'll have a look what's going on. And well, folks, here we are. We're going to have a bit of a look around what we've got going on here and then we're going to get ourselves all into place. I can see what looks like an old case here. Is that a 10? 1255 maybe? That's an old uh, butte. Uh, but oh, there's, there's another county. There's a new county. Look at that. Oh, hey, there's a few of them. They look like they're all ready to go as well. Uh, I'm going to go and see what's happening here and see where we can get myself. Uh, do I go at the back of the line? Do I, do I go at the front of the line? We'll go and see what's happening here. So I'll find the organizer of this all and then we'll get ourselves into position. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, look, the county is the pride of the fleet. It's at the very, very beginning there, and it's going to look magnificent. Uh, but before we go any further, as I mentioned there, you may remember I said there was four tractors in this uh, in this uh, tractor run last time out. Uh, but we have a few more than that this time. Uh, let's have a look at what we've got here. We have got a beautiful case 1255XL there. It's looking in a immaculate condition. These things had some great power coming down to them. We have the youngest sibling to my county over there. Look at this. This is a county 118440. It's look at it. Just just majestic. It looks I mean it looks it looks very similar to a Ford, but yeah, love it. Love to see it. Uh we've got a beautiful old looking Fent Farmer 304. Love the metal work on that. It looks incredible. Ooh, we've got another Fiat F140. This is a bit uh, the bigger brother to uh, my Fiat here, obviously to for your drive as well. Man, if Grand had got one of those, that would look a lot better. And then, lo and behold, look at the little 3600 uh, Ford there. What a beaut that is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then swiftly followed by a John Deere 610, 6110M. Another great looking tractor here. Very nice little utility tractor. Uh, an MB Track 800 as well. It's, uh, it's a rarity around here, but looking great. A Zeta. Uh, Zeta 7540 again, another uh, rare tractor around here, but this is what I mean, these, uh, these kind of tractor races really do bring out all sorts really, which is great. Uh, we've got, wow, we've got paintwork on that voucher, that must be a new, that must be the new G series I think, that looks uh, rather impressive. Uh, and then someone did bring a John Deere around, you can't win them all, but there is a 7530 here, uh, nice looking tractor, a lot of power there as well, so 
That is quite an improvement from last year. I'm sure you agree. So we've got there. Two, four, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 tractors all involved right now, which is great. So hopefully we can continue to um, increase this and expand it over the course of the uh, the coming few years, really. But yeah, I mean, put a little bit small fee into tractor. Got to go and meet some people, uh, have some drinks and some food after this. But also, I'm going to take my county out and around about town there, which is pretty cool in itself. So we're going to get this stuff ready. I think the owner's about ready to, to, to make things happen. So we'll, uh, we'll see what that looks like. We'll get this stuff ready to roll. I haven't got the most comfort here though. Like one of those John Deere's maybe for the, the cab and the and the aircon. But uh, we'll have to make work to do with the uh, with this kind of aircon here, I guess. That'll have to make work for me. we just come through the showroom here we've we've made it this is the end of the line for the tractor room where we're gonna have a few uh drinks and a little bit of a fundraiser here as well and a raffle and all those sorts of things but we're here look at that line of tractors there doesn't that look fantastic i've had so much fun out in this uh this platoon today if you will it's been brilliant just look at this line as we come through here. there's a few more joining the party late as well we just couldn't get them all lined up in time but they've come for a good time out anyway uh, but yeah, just a beautiful round. So all in all, if you include those three, that's 17 altogether. 15, beg your pardon, 15. So just brilliant. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 even. So yeah, we are looking mighty fine there. So it's just a great, great turn on. Really pleased to get involved with this. The range of tractors here, all sorts of shapes, sizes, horsepower. It's just incredible. So... Hoping to see this continues moving forward there, and uh, we'll see how it goes. If you have had any of these great kind of events yourself, please do let me know how they went. Be uh, very interested to see. But for now, uh, I got lots of uh, socializing and hobnobbing to do, so we're going to go and do just that. So I have been Alex. I do hope you have enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next one. Until then, folks, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing as always, and we will see you later. Catch you later.